here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite predictable repaints, favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Iron Factory Thundercracker, or as they call him, Tyrant Wing Blue. He comes with a number of accessories which we're going to be looking at here shortly, but first and foremost, before we get into a skit today, I have to show you. So this is on loan to me from Robert D, co-host of Shattercast Uncut, and a dear friend. And as I've said before on this channel, he is a complete and utter maniac. I can't show you all of this, but good grief did I laugh at this. So, he sends me this envelope, and it has Natalie Portman as Padme talking to Anakin, the Are You an Angel? Inside of the envelope was this, and I can't turn this around. I just can't. But if you see me at TFCon DC, which I will be attending, maybe I'll talk to you about it there. But I want to let you know the stuff that he sends me is so funny. <laughs> it's very, very funny. With that being said, let's talk about the rest of accessories. So he comes with another display stage. If you want to see how this is put together and how this works, feel free to check out the Starscream review. That's Tyrant Wing Red, where I show how that's done. I'm not going to waste time doing it again. As we've discussed, it seems like they're going to do a Build-A-Figure for the Ghost Starscream. So this guy comes with his legs. And interestingly enough, it seems like he's going to come with, a, they're going to do another Build-A-Figure and do a Sunstorm, which is pretty cool and interesting. And uh, it comes with two arms. And of course, it comes with the two null rays that plug into the arms or into the wings, which we talk about in the Starscream review. And that is it for accessories. So let's talk about this jet. It looks good. We have silver paint. We have gunmetal paint. We have red and silver paint, red and silver paint on the wings, some silver paint on the uh, null rays, some little details and silver paint on the chest, pelvis and knees, and red paint on the shoulders. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, size comparison wise, there it is with Tiger Tracks. So he's a little fella. And we'll just go ahead and transform them. Now, you know, I don't really like doing repaints on this channel, but I will do them if I can do the transformation in the other way. So in the other video, we go from robot to alt mode. In this video, we'll go from alt mode to robot. We have both ways covered on the channel and my catalog so that they, you know, it seems worthwhile. All right? Okay, so let's do it to it. Unplug the arms, rotate the shoulders up. Same for the other side. You can unclip these wings from the back of the legs there and then move the nose cone, which will release that assembly. Fold this piece uh, 90 degrees or no, 180 degrees. Sorry, math was never my strong suit. I actually have a good story about that. And then fold these wings up to the opposite side. This will allow you to bring the nose cone underneath and tuck that in exposing the head fold up the landing gear and then you can extend the legs separate them pull the toes out flip the null rays around flip these wings underneath on double hinges and then tab that into place why is it giving me such grief there and I'll get him cleaned up. We'll take a look at him. And here he is. Uh, same articulation. We do have silver paint on the face. The null rays do come off. Uh, as you saw, there are some tolerance issues, just joints moving a little too stiff, etc. That's been an ongoing problem with Iron Factory. I'd like to see them tighten that up, so to speak. Heads on a ball peg. You get down to there, up to there, and then the swivel. We have a waist swivel, which is cool. Masterpiece can't seem to give us that. And then we have a ball peg on a hinge, so you can get the shoulder up to there, down to there and then you can adjust the ball peg and get the shoulder kind of straight out and then of course you get the around movement on the shoulder as well and you get a little bit of a butterfly joint due to the ball peg bicep swivel single hinged elbow getting you past 90 degrees nothing for the wrist same for the other side t-jointed ball joints for hips get you the full van dam and the full monty Thigh swivel is built around, oh no it's not, I thought it was built around the ball peg, it's not, it's a separate joint so that's nice. And then we have a single hinge knee getting you 90 degrees, and then we have ankles that are on ball pegs and then an additional toe hinge to get you a rocker, and then 
down that far, up that far. So for a Legends class figure, fairly well done. There he is next to the IDW Thundercracker from iGear, the Raptor series. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be IDW, but it is very IDW-esque. Just thought it'd be interesting to have them next to each other. This was given to me by John. I still plan to review this. It's just, I've just been so busy as new stuff keeps coming out. But uh, one day, hopefully. And then there he is with two other Legends figures to kind of give you a size comparison. Final thoughts wise, I think he's pretty solid. I mean, for what he is, I, I think if you're in for this IDW kind of legend scale from Iron Factory, I mean, they've definitely got their own lanes. So you don't have to worry about anybody coming in and stepping on their toes. I think for the most part, they've been really good. You know, there's some tolerance issues. I'd like to see them work out. Little things like, you know, the, the way that the joints move and such. That was my phone falling down. And wait, let me see. Oh, it does have a wrist swivel as well. I didn't mention that. So there's that. But I mean, like, that's a pretty cool looking Thundercracker. And that's a pretty cool looking pose. And it's a pretty affordable product. And it's got paint. It's got articulation. You know, the materials are kind of, you know, it's a good plastic. I, I don't know what else you'd expect. There's no ratchets. I don't think you'd expect that in a Legends class figure. So, yeah, if they could nail down those tolerances, I, I think the uh, engineering could have been a little bit more complex in the leg in the leg area. Could have cleaned up a little bit better, like if this opened up and collapsed a little bit cleaner. But aside from that, I think it's pretty well done. I think it's worth its money, and I think you'll be satisfied. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.